Hi there. Leslie Rogalski here. Hello. I'm the creative director for The Beadsmith, here with our Wednesday Facebook Live. And as promised, I wanted to talk to you about what happens if you're working on a tutorial and you don't have the right beads. What do you do? Well, my advice to you is play, have fun, have your swap meet. And I brought some examples to show you of how I have changed out different beads in a few of our original Beadsmith Inspiration Squad designers patterns and done some variations on a theme. So I want to start with this lovely bracelet from Bianca Vandermolen. She's used Arcos and Honeycombs with Honeycomb symbol metal fashion elements and seed beads in this beautiful bracelet. So what happens if you don't have Arcos on hand? What do you do? Well, what I did was pick up some Chevron Duos, which are also two hold beads and kind of mimic the shape of the Arcos. So I kind of kept that in mind as I was following exactly from her tutorial, the same exact thread path. This is what's so cool about doing this. You have patterns already. There are patterns in our library. There are patterns on the website. You can go to your favorite bead shop and ask for exclusive patterns that we send just to those customers and then play around with different beads. So with Bianca's Haley bracelet, which as I said, uses Arcos and Honeycombs, and I brought in Chevron Duos and Baroque Cabs and Candy Beads in place of the Honeycombs. So it did change the proportions a little bit, but the thread path was the same. It's just, I followed the exact pattern, swapped out for other beads I had on hand, and adjusted my bead count a little bit for the slight variation in the sizes for this one. So that's one idea. Here is Michelle Klaus's slinky bracelet. She uses the kite beads and the Baroque cabs, the backlit again, and on the ends, around the sides, she has three millimeter bicones. So the variation that we did changes out the bicones and the backlit Baroque cabs for micro spacers in place of the bicones and candy beads again in place of the Baroque cabs. Followed the exact pattern again. Hi Leslie, hi Steven, hi Louise. Look at this. Is that not cool? Followed the wonderful instructions from Michelle. You can see that they look like they're related, and yet you have the difference. Really fun variations to do. Now we have a spectacular bracelet from Deborah Hodoyer, the Ginkgo Fusion Bracelet. Lots of different beads. So what happens if you don't have, for instance, she uses the Minos bead in there along with the Ginkgos, the Paisley Duos, the Backlit Cabs, Fire Polish beads, and a whole bunch of seed beads. So what happens if you're missing stuff? You can make some substitutions like this. Ta da Again, following existing thread paths with no change to the bead counts in this case, where we have swapped out for the Minos, which we did not have immediately on hand, and figured out that the Minos bead, you want to keep the proportions in mind again. Here's the Minos. Here's three millimeter fire polish from through the holes it gives you the same dimension so this is what you want to keep in mind if you're playing the swap meet what if 
um, trying out different things, using an existing pattern, and seeing what happens besides just varying the colors, varying the beads. So keep proportion in mind as you swap them out. So we found the three millimeter really worked well in exchanging for the Minos beads. Now, I really liked making the samples and Leslie Pope, my sergeant at arms here, uh, really enjoyed doing the variations too, but I wanna show you some, a couple other things. I also made this variation where, and I'm gonna hold up the original with it so you can see, instead of the backlit cabs, I'm using groovy beads. And instead of using the four millimeter fire polish in the last round, I've put in a nibbit and incorporated that into the exact same instructions exactly the same well i shouldn't say exactly there was a very small change that i made to figure out how to get it to fit in there but otherwise everything's the same you can look at the tutorial online but wait i wasn't finished i was having so much fun swapping out for the ginkgo fusion obviously you don't want to swap out the ginkgos because it's ginkgo fusion people so then with some brainstorming uh, with Steven, my fearless leader. Look at this. Tips. Remember those? Remember those tips? These cool little low spiky beads? Look how fun that is. I mean, seriously. We also swapped out micro spacers in there and uh, instead of the three millimeter bicones. So this, I just, I only made these little swatches, but I have to tell you guys, I really want to finish them because you've got the same tutorial, the same instruction, the same thread path. You want to take into consideration the proportion of what you're swapping out, but otherwise, and I know you guys can figure out a little bit if there's a bead like the tip that might be a little bigger, so you use one more or one less of the fewer, sorry, fewer of the seed beads or more of the seed beads as you go around. But basically, it is the same thing. It's the same. This came from the same mama. How about that? So give yourself a chance to play with your beads. Look in our pattern library online, I Love Beads, or better still, ask your favorite bead shop for the exclusive patterns and go through the shop and you can find other beads to swap out for the things that the designer used originally. So have fun playing and remember, you can find all of these beautiful beadsmith beads and other cool tools and products from your favorite bead reseller. Right? Yeah. So, I'm Leslie Rogowski saying, we love beads. Remember, there's more ways to tap into your bead stash to make all of the bead patterns in our library. See ya!